All right, welcome to Shortest Trip to Earth. This is an early access preview that the developer was kind enough to give me, so I want to go ahead and uh, start a game. I've looked into this game earlier, uh, about a year ago, so I'm not completely blind. Uh, Shortest Trip to Earth, Shortest Trip, is a roguelike, so expect to die a lot. Indeed, playing the tutorial is highly recommended. Nah, let's go! All right, the closest star. So, sorry guys, no preamble, we're jumping right in. Uh, Captain's log. A warp drive malfunction has landed us in the wrong place, light years away from Earth. We are almost out of fuel, supplies are running out, some crew have been injured, and some equipment is not working. Personally, I find all of this not too bad because... Uh, choose Mothership for next turn. This is new, so this is basically kind of an FTL clone, uh, but yeah, a little a little bit different kind of exploration aspect to it than FTL. Or, uh, anyway, well, you'll see. You'll see. I like its display. Um, let's see. I don't know this ship. Uh, the Nuke Runner. The Tigerfish, I remember. Uh, what in the heck? An antique Uoe -E -E ship obtained from a museum packed with outdated alien technology and not built for combat. Many of the ship's modules function by eating organics. The pre-installed cryosleep pods are rumored to produce fantastically vivid dreams. Okay. Uh, reach Sector 2 to unlock the Rat Cruiser. Okay. Will be added to the game during early access. Well, this thing looks bizarro, so I'm not going to do it right yet. And I have never played the Nuke Runner. This small missile boat was not built for intergalactic flights, but comes with military-grade armor and engines providing superior tactical survivability. Includes a small nuke arsenal if relevant paperwork is filled out. Really? It doesn't have... It doesn't have FTL, then how are you supposed to play the game? Well, we'll go with this one. Let's go. Okay, so here we get to spend our points. First run bonus, five points. First sector starting bonus, plus 20 fate points. And, uh, hmm. Well, let's see. Ship-specific Gatling gun upgrade. Um, uh, the autonomous Gatling gun receives an upgrade. That sounds good. Uh, let's see. The top cadet, plus one... Crew, minus 50 credits. Hmm. Ship specific. Shield genera generator replacement. Replaces the shield generator. Uh, new, more efficient shield generator. That sounds good. Survivability is the uh, theme we're going for here. Uh, the sensor is replaced by a new one. I did not care for the sensors before. Uh, integrity module. Ship armor and associated integrity modifications printed from ma modules at hand. Sounds good. So here our starting resources are going down a bit. Do-it-yourself backup weapon. Extra weapon module. Hmm. Plus three capital missiles. Uh, security droid. Hmm. Extra fuel sounds good. How many points do we have left? Eleven. Uh, plus one resource pack. Well, what do those do? I don't know. Self-contained resource pack. Exotics, drone repair bay, extra med bay module. Think uh, another cryo sleep module. I'm not sure why I would want that. I think the nukes sound good. I see. We're we still got ten more points to go here. What's this one? External fuel tank, grade two, weaponized, plus one capital missile. Huh? External fuel tank usable as a cheap. Capital missile. Hmm. Well, this is a little fussy to use. Uh, well, a gun operator drone sounds good. Plus 5% overall ship deflection. I can't even afford these. If I had max, if I turned off everything, I still wouldn't afford be able to afford them. Plus one repair drone. Wait, what? Gun operator drone? Oh, one takes down credits and one takes down synthetics. Okay. And anything else we want? Uh, small bot. A small pet drone knows vulgar words in all human languages and draws fire from enemy intruders during internal combat. Uh, fire safety bots. I have no idea, guys. 
Um, but let's just get going, hey? So let's do, just to find out what this is, resource pack one, sure. And then we got three more points to spend. Let's get extra synthetics and sure, extra metals, which I don't think is gonna really help us very much. Starting crew, do I care about this? I don't know, let's start. Malfunction in our ship's warp drive landed us in deep space. You'll remember this from my previous videos, except our ship is new. Stranded away from all possibilities to resupply or refuel. Okay. Uh, our only option was to freeze ourselves and accelerate towards the closest star. Five years later. All right, here we are. Can we pause? Yes. Okay, that's very important. The game moves while uh, you don't do anything. This little bubble here is our sensor array. If I recall, these are probably our asteroids, which is bad news to get involved in. Um, what is... Oh, is this giving us a... Yeah, it's telling us about how far... How many resources it's going to take to get us there. Let's take a look at our ship. Oh, modules received from perks are currently inside storage. Open the storage panel? Sure, that's what I wanted to see anyway. Uh, green death ignores shield. In storage. I've defrozen our entire crew. I've assigned all of them to operate different ship modules. You might want to review this later. Ideally, our best operator should work with shields and our best gunners should control ship weapons. I've also completed calculating the shortest route back to Earth. The journey goes through 10 sectors of uncharted space. Each of those sectors will contain an ancient one-way warp gate built by precursors before our time. The warp gates are usually controlled by the dominant faction of each sector. We must convince whoever is guarding them to let us through. I've marked the intergalactic warp gate of this system on our sector map. Try to explore every star system on the way to maximize our survival chances. Okay, so this is our peeps. Oh, wow, we got a lot of info now. Okay. Um, heavy jet engines, hybrid module slot. Okay, standard Terran point defense. Uh, so we should install stuff. So let's, I guess, install, I say. Uh, what? Right click to install. Okay. Uh, resource pack. Okay. Ancient nuke. We'll start with the ancient nuke. Uh, do we need anybody anywhere else? I have no idea. I don't know. I'm gonna say, however, I think we're good to go. Okay, that's ship, map, and right click to go. There we go. Anomal analyzing data. We'll probably leave that alone, because like I said, I think flying through asteroids is not a great thing to do. And what do you say? Scanning. They've slowed down this part of the game. I like it. I like the changes they made. No more twitchy bubble scanning, etc. What's going on? Okay, R2. Lush forests and jungle cover this green planet. Looks like a good spot for harvesting some organics. Well, our motto this game is always say yes. We are going to say yes. Say yes, Charlie. Exploring... And echo harvesting is easy here because the local ecosystem is earth-like and our harvesting technology does not need any adjustments. Research and echo harvest. Echo operations do not collect more than max container capacity. Research only. Leave this ecosystem untouched. Nah. Take everything. Taking samples. Okay. And... Echo harvesting... Thank you. Am I on like super slow speed or something? 
Oh, I am on slow speed. <laughs> Our crew and bots echo harvested fruits, seeds, and eggs, leaving the developed parent organisms themselves intact. We were able to harvest a significant amount of organics without killing a single creature. Yay. Want to read more about resources? Okay. Uh, basic resources are organics, fuel, metals, synthetics, explosives, exotics. Uh, these are stored in containers with limited capacity. Learn more about their purpose by choosing a, a topic from the list on the right. Uh, well, let's not do all of them maybe, but let's find out what organics are since we just got them. Most crew members consume organics as food, water, air, and recreational substances. Uh, organics can be harvested, various garden and sustainability modules allow growing organics, running out of organics reduces crew skills by 50%. And metals? Metals are the most common resource and used mostly for repairing ship hull. Metals are also used when building planetary structures such as mining or harvesting equipment. Huh, when would I ever do that? Okay, that's enough for now. Let's go. Uh, let's go over here. Boop -de -doo. We are still on slow speed, huh? Well, pushing space moves us a lot faster. Alright, R4. This planet and its moon were too hot to have any practical value for us. Hmm. And let's go over here. There we go. See what a... Oh, there's that weirdness they do with the sensor. I don't like that. Like, just let the sensor be static. Um, I don't know. It's okay. Let's go. Uh, small volume of harvestable fuel elements. Always say yes. Okay. More equipment is abort the operation. Keep harvesting. The mining process went as smoothly as possible. The mega storms proved to be quite weak in the end. Of course. Remember, always say yes. Mm -hmm. What's this? I don't know. All right, what have we got? Uh, want to get some tips about trade stations? Okay. Uh, trade stations are a good place to sell resources for Xenodata, the universal currency. Some stations also sell ship repair services, modules, and crew. It is cheaper to repair your ship and stations than manually by crew. If you need extra Xenodata to buy something, consider scrapping less useful modules and selling the gained resources. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, what you got? Nothing? I think we're probably okay then. I don't know what to do. Maybe we could buy some fuel. Do we need fuel? I don't know. Probably. We'll buy a few. Let's buy three. Can even 300. Confirm. Okay. Can we warp yet? Uh, sector map shows you info about unexplored systems and much more. Want to see an overview? Okay. Uh, sector view basics. Um, player ship icon. Uh, sector view sensor range. That's this bubble here. Stealth detection level. Okay. Fuel cost. Warp drives consume a lot of fuel with each warp. Uh, we cannot see information about the star systems outside our sensor range, but we can over here. Okay. Okay. Here we are. Let's go on over here. Two fleets, two planets. Warp to destination. Oh, here comes that fleet. Organics Trader. Noble fellow consciousness, let us trade forms of matter and energy for mutual ascension. Our fleet will be leaving this star after this trade, so it is truly a once-in-a-lifetime deal. Uh, uh, what's our organics like? I guess we could get more. Let's just get... Let's just sell exotics and get... Do we have any exotics? I don't even think... I think these are our exotics. I don't think we have them. Uh, not enough resources, of course. Hmm. Well, in keeping with our always say yes policy, I think we better buy for a hundred if we can. Thank you. Please accept this small gift as an additional token of our gratitude. Well, okay. Now we are very low on organics and, or I mean, on money. 
There is a metal object. Let's go. Hey. What? What? What's going on? Excess! Oh. We have excess. Yeah, dump excess. Okay. Well, thanks for the gift, but we couldn't... Oh! Ah! No! Oh, resume game! Um, thanks for the gift, but we couldn't move with it, so... There we go. Metal object. It is a lost cargo container featuring old, uh, standard old earth hegemony design. These containers were historically used to transport mundane chemical supplies. Open it! Alright. Whole was potency synthetic fertilizer and volatile properties. Okay. I wonder what that is. I don't know. Oh, we're going to have to fly through these asteroids, aren't we? Let's fly through them this way, then. And then that way. Okay, there we go. Landing. Alright, this planet has a complex of automated processing facilities with no property markings. It seems the factories are slowly processing volatile chemicals into star fuel and storing in underground containers. No active defense is detected. Uh, print digger bots, leave for now, respect property. No, of course we're going to send, um, crew. Uh, um, let's do it with metals instead. Fuel retrieved. All right. We did lose some metals, though. Wow, that's a lot of fuel. I, I guess, I think. Okay, anything else we want over here? Maybe we're ready to go. So what's over here? We can't even see. This, however, is the exit. Um... Well, we still got another planet, I guess. Can we... Thank you. Where's the other planet? Boom. Let us trade. Darn it! I can't do it! I can't do it. Oh, we have to say no because I have no choice. Alright. Let's harvest fuel. Ooh, a shipwreck discovered. We discovered a ship wreckage orbiting the outer atmosphere of the gas giant. It seems to be a fuel tanker that was attempting to extract fuel from the giant. Uh, there are no weapon damage marks on in the hole, so the cause of destruction remains a mystery. Synthetics, metals, and fuel. Excellent. Accident! Operation completed. A small plasma torpedo caused a minor explosion, breaking some of our external utility equipment. Ship hit points. That's bad. Okay. And can we repair it? Uh, it can be repaired by crew and in stations. Uh, how do we do that? Uh, how do we repair? Doopy doo. I don't know. I'll figure it out later. Hmm. Yeah, we'll figure it out later. <clears throat> I was hoping they were going to give me a little uh, tutorial thing to show me how to repair, but apparently not. Let's go this way. Uh, yep. They ought to close this by default when I warp so I can see the warp animation. Okay, let's go to the gas giant. Uh, the gravitational pull of this gas giant is too strong here for any fuel mining operations. Well, thank you for wasting my time. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, Mibus 9. There is a commercial ship service station on this planet specialized on increasing ship's durability by building custom integrity modules from recycling local scrap metal. The service includes free food. Yes, let's hire the service, assuming we have money. Not enough resources! We said yes too many times! Alright. Uh, 
There's something over there. Uh-oh. We detect a single advanced ship rapidly approaching tactical weapons range. It broadcast broadcasts Rat Empire credentials. Open comm channel. Rat Empire Lord. Alien vessel, this star system is Rat Empire property. And according to local rules, all alien visitors must pay the property visiting tax or be immediately destroyed. Uh, prepare for battle. Um, oh, they're coming up on the other side. Okay. Uh, guys? Uh, yeah, are you gonna go, uh... Do I have anybody to... Um... Huh? What? What what are you guys doing? Maybe you need to go over here? So they came up behind me, huh? Okay. What are you doing? You can stay there. Yeah, what the heck, man? Uh What's our uh what's our issue here with the power, man? Why can't we turn this stuff on? Okay. Power off. We are going to die because... There we go. Because I don't know how to play the game. Yeah, oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, sorry guys. Good thing this is in slow motion. Are you operating this thing? I hope so. Oh, it's coming in slow. What are you doing? Are you guys operating this thing? I hope so. Yeah, it says so. I think so. Okay. Can we use our nuke? Let's find out. Uh. <laughs> yes. There it goes. What's that thing? One of the hostile ships is charging up its warp drive to escape the combat area. We might want to prevent them in order to increase post-battle salvage. Uh, can I... I think we almost got it. Okay, what's this saying? Fire on board the ship! Oh boy. Well, we got their ship. Okay. What are you doing? Gunnery drone. Oh, okay. Ah, our drones have salvaged all the resources left on the battlefield. Okay. Command bridge type double. Store it. Micro reactor. Store it. Rat Empire encountered. It seems this sector has been claimed by the Rat Empire. Greedy little xenophobic mammals they are. Would you like to see the database notes about their civilization? Sure. 
The Rat Empire is organized as a system that guarantees social and resource inequality. <laughs> Egalitarianism is ridiculed and organizing everything into a pyramid. Uh, pyramidal hierarchies is highly praised. Their technology is inferior compared to ours. Rat military tactics focus on projectile weaponry. Guys, are we how are we doing over here? Market for repair. Oh, only in repair shop. Uh. Oh, there we go. I know they said this isn't a good idea, but I think we can do it anyway. <clears throat> can we install these anywhere? Okay, so this is a small micro reactor. I have no idea where to put it. <laughs> Sorry guys, I really don't know what the heck I'm doing yet. Oh, we used up our missile too. Yeah, those are kind of precious. I find this interface a little wonky. There we go. Okay. Uh, command type bridge type solitary. Double. What is this going to do for me if it's double? Uh, solitary operator allows the bridge to remotely operate other modules. Remote operation from bridge does not give modules any skill bonus. Oh, interesting. Uh, do we need another person over here? Operated by one crew member? Okay. Okay. This is broken, huh? Can you repair it? What's this thing do? Little warrior. Our cat. Okay. Thinking about murder. Yeah, that sounds about right for a cat. Uh, let's see, anything else we need to do? I think we'll just wait for this to get repaired. Oh man, oh, oh okay, now it's fine. Ooh, all right. Uh, so this gives us plus nine, high fire resistance, low risk of malfunctions. Uh, three, six. Interesting. I could replace it, but I'd have less energy. Okay, uh, well, th enough of that. Let's go back and start exploring again. Where were we? We were going over here. No, 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 we weren't. We were going back. We were going this way. <laughs> Dang it. Large asteroids. This asteroid field has a seemingly worthless mineral profile. Still, we may enter the asteroid field for deeper exploration in case our long-range scanners pick, uh, missed something. Such an operation has a risk of getting hit by some of the faster rocks. Yeah, enter the asteroid field. Mission completed. No valuable <laughs> resources found. All right. Well, let's go. And we're going to head for the exit because I want to see the exit. Oh, I guess that's all there is to the animation, huh? Well, let's go over here. Boinga. Incoming message. Warning. Access to this mining planet is restricted to intelligent banks, TM authorized vessels. Failure to respect property borders results in attack by orbital defenses. Uh... Hmm. We'll print long-range missiles to neutralize the satellites from a safe distance. We managed to destroy the defense satellites with cheaply printed long-range missiles. Their weapons were too short-range to uh, reach us. Okay. Exotics mine. It takes some time, but we finally find the mining site. A mountain with a tunnel going in. Markings indicate it's an exotics mine. Our drones discover the tunnel leads to a thick crystal steel security door within the tunnel. We need to get it open before proceeding. Uh... Fuel... Or explosives. Let's go with explosives. Uh, we, success we successfully detonate the security gates of the mine. It seems mining was temporarily put on hold here and never resumed. There were several exotic mineral seams exposed and our bots mined from there until they no longer could. The operation was a big success. Great. Let's go here. Oh, 
What's this saying? Oh, we're getting low on organics. Uh, this lifeless planet has a definite warp energy source on its surface. It could be a precursor technology or possibly a warp animal, although they usually do not land on planets. Investigate! Incredibly, the warp energy emanates from a large robot. Its usual, unusual design suggests precursor technology, and it doesn't seem to be military, a military unit. You send drones to investigate, and the robot effortlessly uh, hacks one of them to communicate safety to your ship. It then releases the drone. Approach. As your crew approaches in a shuttle, they suddenly get an unnerving feeling that uh, somebody is actively reading their minds. You need help, the robot states coldly in your mind. It looks at your ship and you see pieces of ground raising up in the air around it. The dirt transforms into metal bits which attach themselves to the ship hull. Yay! The robot then befalls, uh, you mean falls, silent. Uh, fate points. So this is what we get to spend when we start our next run. And we got our ship hull healed. Thank you. Thank you, robot. Let's uh, warp. Let's go to the exit because we're running out of food. Here we are. Let's go here. Life spotted. Uh, orbital scans reveal present of vegetation. Strange, the atmosphere contains only trace amounts of oxygen. Explore. Nano car uh, non carbon ecosystem. Well, that's too bad because we probably need the food. Uh, we got enough synthetics, don't we? I think so. Uh, let's see. The planet hosts exclusively non carbon life including primitive animals unsuitable for our purposes. Uh, we may set up temporary mining facilities to exploit titanium mineral seems near the surface. Keeping the operation ecological comes with a cost increase. Uh, well, let's do the first one. Each colony or separate organism meeting a certain size criteria was transported from the mining site to a temporary loca relocation platform. The organisms were documented during the industrial mining operations and returned to their original location after we had collected all the easily accessible ore. Regrettably, a number of fragile insect-like creatures were killed due to mishandling by our drones. Our advanced harvesting technology is not perfect yet. All right, xenodata and metals. Okay. Uh... I don't know what these different thingamajigs are. Let's go here first. Uh, you're low on organics, I know. Uh, let's see, the planet features extremely extreme temperatures and intense volcanic activity. Initial scans suggest possibility of valuable minerals. Prospect mining, prospect for mining opportunities? Of course! Under attack. During the operation, crystalline life forms emerged from the ground and were destroying and destroyed our mining facilities. We decided to move on. Well, that's too bad. We need to get going. We need organics, guys. Please have organics. Rat Empire Gate Guard. This long-range warp gate is property of the Rat Empire. Those who wish to pass must pay the gate tax. I warn you that those Questioning the Imperial rules for everyone else will be executed, and I have a nuke. Ah, well. Hmm. Do we have 350 credits? I don't think we do. I think we have 92. I guess we don't have it. And I don't think we have the exotics. Where are our exotics? That's these thingies. Leave for now. Let's finish exploring over here real quick. Thank you. So, we need... <laughs> we need organics. Uh... So is this to buy? I want to sell, I think. How do I... Let's sell some junk, okay? Uh, mark all damage. Repair. 
repair. Okay. Modules, like I said, it doesn't appear as though we can sell. Oh, I wish I could sell these. Surely I could. I guess I could... Oh, I could have scrapped it for exotics! I didn't know that. Huh. That's pretty... handy. Well, we need more organics, I have a hunch. Okay. Okay. Well... Let's, uh, exit and go to the warp gate. Uh, I guess we need to leave first. Ship. Storage. Recycle. And now we have enough. Bribe. Alright. Attempt to bribe. Go through, generous visitor. Okay. It seems a lot has changed while you were in cryosleep, Captain. We've been cut off from intergalactic news for five years. The rats used to be less desperate about making a profit. What's the matter with them? Sector 1, the closest star, battle survived 1, ships destroyed 1, modules found 2, planets visited 10, fate earned 2. Hey, we did it. New ship unlocked, the good nose. Okay. Ooh, that's funky looking. Well, here we are. Um, sector 2, deeper space. Can we slow down and take a look at things? I think we may have a problem. <laughs> um... Sector 2, Deeper Space. This sector is unclaimed by major factions. However, intergalactic travel guides warn of pirates. A wild sector, they call it. Grab everything you can and let's leave this place quickly. What can you tell me about local pirates? Uh, pirate ships are usually armed with low-quality weapons. They don't care too much about this because they usually want to get entire ships for themselves by killing everybody on board. Keep point defenses online to destroy approaching border shuttle shuttles before they can reach our ship. Okay. This sector is unclaimed. Yep. Well... Um, that's going to do it for this particular uh, preview of uh, Shortest Trip to Earth. I'm probably going to uh, play a little bit more off camera before the weekend and uh, come back to this game. So I'm going to release this, release this one right away so uh, you can just get a glimpse of the game. And uh, yeah, uh, when I continue, hopefully I'll be much more competent at the game, but I'll probably start over from Sector 1 because I think we're in, uh, I mean, we only have 46 organics, you know what I mean? What's in this sector? Thingamajig. Ah, no. Eee. Close. I wish clicking the buttons down here would do the same thing. Ah, let's take a real quick look. Wait. Oh. Our sensors show constant plasma storms. The gas giant is extremely dangerous. We cannot harvest from here. Well, poop. Uh, can we go here? Oh, uh, you were hit by an asteroid. Want to see how to avoid in the future? Okay. Uh, you can see asteroid deflection in the ship info panel. Asteroid deflection is represented with the following icon. While moving, your ship could get hit by fast flying asteroids. Concentrated asteroid cluster. Yeah, I should have avoided the asteroid cluster. Whoop. We're out of organics. Large asteroids. Enter the asteroid field. <laughs> Low valuable minerals. Okay. Well, hmm. yeah, we're out of organics. That's bad. Okay. Like I said, guys, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next episode. And uh, if you like the game, check it out on Steam. Bye bye.